welcome to Miss Smith's Math Tutorials. I'm Miss Smith. In this video, we're going to be talking about our third type of transformation, and that is reflections. So first we talked about dilations, and we talked about translations, and now we're talking about reflections. So with reflections, you want to think kind of like a mirror. We're going to be creating mirror images across certain lines. So there are four separate rules that you need to learn for reflections because we have different types of reflections. Uh, the first type is reflecting over the x-axis. So this right here is the x-axis and we would be reflecting over it. Um, the rule for this is xy becomes x negative y. So we would just take the same original point and just whatever the y is, we'd flip the sign of it. So we'll see that in action in just a minute. The second rule is over the reflection over the y axis. So this time we'd be looking at this axis over here and we'd be reflecting over it to create a mirrored image. The rule for that is xy becomes negative xy. So this time we flip the sign of whatever x is. Our two other rules would be a reflection over the line y equals x. That rule We'll get into more in a minute, but x, y becomes y, comma, x. We just flip them. Uh, and then the last one is a reflection over the line y equals negative x. So for this one, we have x, y becomes negative y, negative x. So we not only flip them, but we actually flip their signs as well. So we'll see each of these in action. I promise they'll make more sense once we start practicing with them. So let's start, let's try the first one. Reflection over the x-axis. It wants us to take this shape, this triangle, ABC, and reflect it over the x-axis. Now the x-axis is right here where my pin is. So that means B will be reflected down here. A will be reflected down here. C will be reflected up here. So it's kind of interesting the way this is going to flip on itself. For A, currently it sits at negative 1, 2. Well, following that rule for a reflection over the x-axis, I need to leave the x where it is with the sign it has. And the y, I'm going to flip the sign. That's what it means when it says negative y. It means flip it. Okay, so if it's positive, it's going to become negative. If it's negative, it's going to become positive. You do whatever the opposite is. So for this point A, negative 1, 2, x is going to stay the same. Now we're creating an A prime, a new A. x will stay the same, and the y is going to flip sign. So this 2 will become a negative 2. Now for B prime, same rule, x will stay the same, y will flip sign. All right, now for c prime, x will stay the same, y will flip sign. So notice it was negative, now it's positive. Changes. So now I've got my new reflection image that I need to plot and, and look at and verify that that is a reflection. So A prime falls at negative one, negative two. Oops, didn't mean to do that line. All right, so this is our A prime. Our B prime falls at two, negative four, which is the same place as the C, so I'm just gonna kinda darken around it and we'll call that B prime. And then the C prime falls at two positive four. So again, overlaid with the B, so I'll just darken it, and that is C prime. All right, so let me connect the dots. So you see how this image is reflected. It's almost like the y, the uh, x-axis is a mirror, and we have a mirrored image around the x-axis. 
let's look at this one. This one asks us to reflect this turquoise triangle over the y-axis. It does already give us the points of where that triangle currently is. And we just need to take each point and reflect it over the y-axis using this rule. So the rule is xy becomes negative x y. So that means this time the x is going to flip the sign, the y will stay the same. So for d, we're going to create a d prime. The x is currently positive 2, so we're going to make it negative 2. And the y is 3, so we're going to leave it 3. For e prime, the 4 is currently positive, so he's going to become negative. The y is positive 1, so he stays positive 1. For f prime, the 2 will become negative, and the 1 will stay the same. This pin um, is currently on the y-axis. I should see a reflection over it, okay? Uh, so let's see, negative 2, 3, that is our d prime. Labeling is so important. Uh, e, negative 4, 1, that is our E prime, and our F, negative 2, 1, F prime. All right, let's go ahead and connect the dots. Okay, now as you can see, it was perfectly reflected over the y-axis. It's like the y-axis is a mirror. Now some students like to use the strategy, and it is a quicker strategy. They like to take the original picture and just count to the y-axis. So notice from F to the y-axis, I moved over two units. So then they just count two units in the opposite direction, one, two, to get to f. You'll notice the same thing with the d and the same thing with the e. Even though it's all the way out here, this time we moved in one, two, three, four units. So you would just have to move one, two, three, four units in the other direction. That's totally fine. You can do that. I just like to show the rule behind it so you can fall back on that as well. Let's look at examples now of our other two rules. So for this one, it asks us to reflect this triangle over the line y equals x. Now I'm going to rewrite that rule that was on the other page just as a quick reminder so you don't have to scroll back. Um, so x, y becomes y comma x. So notice how we just switch the spot. So x is in the front here. Whatever's in the front is going to be in the back. Y is in the back. So whatever's in the back is going to come to the front. So we're just going to switch places is all it is. So let's take this one. If I were to create a line diagonally with a positive slope, If I were to create a line perfectly through, diagonally through this graph, I'm going to reflect this picture over that diagonal line. You can use the counting method here. You would have to count over and down to the line. I prefer to use the rule because sometimes, I, I don't know, it can get a little complex. So we're just going to follow the rule, this y, x switching values. So we're going to create a g prime that falls at, we're just going to switch places. The x is going to go to the back, the y is going to go to the front. So 3 comma negative 2. For h, we're going to create an h prime. The 4 is going to come to the front. The 2 is going to go to the back, and there's our new H. For I prime, the 1's going to come to the front, the 3's going to go to the back. All right, so now I've got my um, new image points. Let me go ahead and plot them. And I should see that it's a reflection over this diagonal line. So G falls at 3, negative 2. All right, G prime. 
H falls at 4, positive 2. And I falls at 1, 3. Let's go ahead and connect the dots. Now hopefully you can see how this is perfectly mirrored over that purple diagonal line that we created. That is a reflection over the line y equals x. Now let's look at this one over here. Reflect over the line y equals negative x and they gave us a triangle uh, to work with. So this is going to be very similar to this one only this time we are going to create a perfect slope, but it's going to have a negative slope because this is a negative. So it passes through the origin. It has a y-intercept of 0, just like this one, um, but the slope is negative. So let me line this up really well. So now when I create my new shape, it should be reflected over this purple line. Um, so I'm going to bring over that rule as a reminder from the previous page. x, y becomes, and it is negative y, comma, negative x. So you'll notice very similar to this one, only this time we switch our signs. y is going to come to the front, x is going to go to the back, and we're going to flip whatever their current signs are, they're going to become the opposite. So let's see, for j, when I create my j prime, my y is going to come forward and I'm going to flip the sign. My x is going to go to the back and I'm going to flip the sign. So notice it ended up being the exact same point and that is intentional, that's not a mistake. Um, and you'll see kind of how that works in a second. For k, prime. My y is going to come to the front and technically my sign is switching but we would never have a negative zero. It's just zero. So for that one we don't have to worry about the sign. Three is going to go to the back and it's going to become negative. For L prime this negative three is going to come to the front. It's going to become positive now. Flip the sign. The four is going to go to the back and he's going to become negative. So let's now plot our new triangle, our new JKL. So J falls at negative one, positive one, right where the original J did. So we'll label that J prime. K falls at zero, negative three. K prime. And L prime falls at three, negative four. L prime. All right, let's connect the dots. Now notice how our shape is perfectly reflected over that purple line there. Okay, there's one other type of problem that I want to show you that you will probably see on your quizzes and tests. Notice this says reflect over y equals 2. And you may be thinking, well, we didn't have a rule for y equals 2 on the first page. We don't. So they will often throw in this line. They are wanting you to mark this line this equation on your graph and that's what you're going to reflect over. So I just happen to pick y equals 2. They could give you y equals 5. They could give you x equals 1, x equals 10, okay? So you want to remember that y equals 2, that is a horizontal line. 
So we need to mark that line. It would fall right here where y is 2. It's a horizontal line straight across. So let's go ahead and mark that. That's going to be our mirror line for this particular problem. And I want to make it really dark. Okay. Now, it's a good thing to note that if they gave you something like x equals 2, that's a vertical line. So anytime you have x equals something that's a vertical line, you would just do a vertical line at x equals 2, okay? And it would just be a vertical mirrored image. But here, we're going to take this image, um, pre-image, excuse me, for a, b, c, and we are going to reflect it over that line that we just created. There's no set rule for this one. The only way to do this is just to count. Okay, so we're gonna count from A to the line, and then we're gonna count that same number down. So we're kind of treating this like our x-axis for the moment. So we're gonna count down one, two, and so that means I need to go two across the line. One, two. That is gonna be my A prime. Now for B, I'm going to do the same thing. I count one, two down, so I'm going to go one, two in the opposite direction. And we'll call that one B prime. Now for C, I want to count one, two, three to the line, so I've got to go three in the other direction. One, two, three. And that is C prime. So let's go ahead and connect our dots. Okay, so notice we reflected it over that line that they gave us. All right, so I want you guys to try one now. Take these points, so D at 2, 1, E at 1, 3, and F at negative 5, 4, and I want you to reflect them over the X axis. So just give me the points of what our new image would be reflecting over the X axis. So you may need to go back to that first page and peek at that rule again until you have them really memorized. All right, I will post the answer in the description below the video. This has been Miss Miss Math Tutorials.